Wallingford business is cleaning up after a car smashed through it this morning. Police say the driver fled police and then tried to run away before he was arrested. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Cassidy Williams explains what was found inside the car that has the driver facing additional charges. This was the scene at the salon styled by Caitlin early Thanksgiving morning. A Ford Crown Victoria crashed right through the window. The owner, Caitlin Rusick, talked with us on our way to family celebrations out of state. Luckily, there was nobody there at the time when it happened. Wallingford police say before the crash, an officer had tried to pull over the driver twice. Both times, the driver took off, eventually crashing into the business before getting out and running away. Matthew Hackley was soon taken into custody. He's facing more than a half dozen charges, including reckless driving, resisting an officer, and engaging police in a pursuit. It affects a lot. You know, it affects the appearance of the salon and you know, just kind of the way that we work. Unfortunately, she knows what to do in this type of situation because a car has crashed into this business before. This was the aftermath of a different car hitting the building in October 2021. It's a little crazy, to be honest, you know, that it keeps happening. Same kind of situation. Just a driver who was intoxicated and out on the road. In the latest crash, Hackley is also charged with driving under the influence, left behind in his passenger seat, a fireball party bucket with a bag full of what appears to be marijuana on top. Rusick says the lesson from her story is simple. We use the resources that we have as far as like Uber and Lyft or call a family member or a friend and get a ride and you know you're out and about and aren't safe to drive. Not seen in the photo, police say they also found a set of brass knuckles and a ball peen hammer. Rusick is hoping to have the business back open by Tuesday, but she expects it to take several months to fix all the damage. She's grateful for all the people who have stepped up to help. Thank you to the people in the community who have, you know, reached out. Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.